Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to this! What is this? It's another one shot is what it is. <laughs> I'm not doing a full LP, but I felt like doing this, and survival mode. And also, I have a bunch of stuff I need to talk about. So, you know, usually that those two things go hand in hand together pretty well. Let's see, I need that, and I need that, and I need that, and you, and you, you. Um, what am I forgetting? I am forgetting that. And that. Okay, we're good to go. Go! Good question. Um... <laughs> Okay, so, I may as well get started on the stuff I need to talk about. The first thing is, all the stuff I'm going to talk about is going to be in the comments. Well, not all of it, but all the important bits I'm going to put into the comment section. So, if you have a hard time understanding me, I guess, or whatever. The point is, if you want to read it instead of listen to me say it, it's there. For your viewing pleasure, convenience anyway. Um, yeah. Um, so that's the one first thing. What was the next thing? Uh, something, something. Freeze ray. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, no, the next thing on my list, which is on a different screen, so a little hard to micromanage looking at. Uh, ooh. This looks like a job for the potato mine. But the freeze ray thing is actually a Final Fantasy V thing. There's gonna be more Final Fantasy V weekly, at least for a while. Probably. <laughs> like, no guarantees, as usual, but since as of the release of this video, I should have finished Final Fantasy II means that I have the space open for final, more Final Fantasy V, plus my new LP, which we'll, we'll get to that later on. Um, so, yeah. Next thing is on the list, because I may as well just go through the whole list before I start talking exclusively about Plants vs. Zombies, is... Twitter? Why do I have Twitter? Because I have a Twitter. And I'm not sure most of you are even aware I have it. Not that it really matters, to be honest. But, you know, I want to make sure anyone who is actually watching this shit... Um, yeah, I have a high opinion of myself. Um, anyway, I want to make sure anyone who is actually watching this is aware that it exists. It's Twitter slash Kiss Blue, same as my channel on YouTube. Go figure, right? Um, and it is actually pretty useful because it kind of tells you whenever I have posted a new video. You know, for you, for people who aren't just on YouTube all the time. So if you're on Twitter all the time instead, you can look there. Oh, you know what? I have not been planting any of Tangling Kelp. That is going to bite me in the ass later on. Probably. Oh well. Oh well. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to actually concentrate on the game for a bit, otherwise I am going to lose. Because I have not been concentrating on the game, and that's what happens when you don't. You lose badly. Badly. Even really badly. Because, you know, that's a word. <laughs> Mm, can't you customize this guy? I'm pretty sure you can. I don't remember if I ever did it. I don't know. It's been a... If, if I did, it was such a long time ago that I don't remember. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, wait. My sunflowers are getting more expensive? 
that happens in this mode? Oh man, that that sucks. I didn't know it did that. I did not know. Um, actually all my upgrades are getting more expensive. Well, that's gonna make this interesting. Because my st strategy relies really heavily on just upgrading the shit out of everything. Um, well, we'll see how far I get, I guess. I guess so. I guess so. Oh well. Usually the way I do this, by, by the time I get to the... The r rounds where I'm in danger, I have a massive surplus of sunshine anyway, so... I'm not too worried. Let's see... If I do that... Yeah, that'll work. The reason, by the way, I'm leaving a space here is because it is so that I can put instant kill things in these areas because the ability just to do that will be incredibly useful um, later on when the super gargantians start showing up. Like incredibly, incredibly useful. <laughs> Like, you don't even know how useful is how useful they'll be. You just don't. Unless you've played Plant vs. Zombies before, in which case you probably do. It's that sort of thing. Anyway... What is the next thing on my list? It's Tumblr! I do not post videos on my videos on Tumblr. I tried doing that once, but then I stopped. But you know what? You should tell me if you're on the Tumblr, because if you are, then you can follow me on Tumblr, and also I will probably start posting vid my videos on Tumblr. Again. Because, you know, it seems like a pretty good idea. If people are there and they're watching, then why not put them there, right? So, yeah. Tell me about that. And be aware of that. I don't even do that much on Tumblr, to be honest. I mostly just repost stuff. Just like everyone else. Um, I mean, I'm not exactly a talented artist here, so... At least in terms of drawing. So, you know, it stick with what you can do. I guess. Or stick with what you can't do, but you want to do anyway. Just, it doesn't matter. Um, it just doesn't. Um... Hmm. I am slightly concerned about some of this water s stuff that's going on. Little bit. Okay, less concerned now. Less concerned. I need to dig that up. Put a new one there, and you made it. Well, it's okay. Don't need sunflowers anymore, so that's good. Okay, that's two flags. <laughs> Balloons on- oh man, I completely forgot about those. Um... Okay, I'm gonna need you then. I need you. I need you. I still need you. I need you now. I still need you. I need you, 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 you. Actually, no, I don't need you. I need you. And you. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. I will start on the big guns next round. Okay, what is the next thing on my list? Oh yeah, game preferences. This is actually a really important one. So, it should... Anyone who's been watching my channel, oops, sorry for that pause there, I accidentally clicked out of the screen. <laughs> Anyone who's been watching my channel for, damn it, for any significant amount of time probably already knows that I am focusing mostly on um, RPGs and intend to keep it that way. However, <laughs> however, 
there's a little more to it than that. I'm sort of curious what the preferences of my viewers, such as they are, are for the games that I'm playing. I mean, to be honest, it's not going to make any change in the immediate future. I already know what I, I already know what the next two or three games I'm gonna play are for pretty mu al almost certain. Um, again, I'll get to I'll get to the teaser later on. <laughs> um, however, after that, it could very well change the way I go about things. I mean, like obviously, I'm still gonna keep up with Final Fantasy th games, but other than that, there's room for variety, you know. So, I really want to see what people say about what they would like to see, you know. And that that also extends to my commentary. Like I know a lot of I know a lot of my viewers right now. So again, such as my audience is, it's not a very large audience. Um, really like the Final Fantasy V, which is blind and fun and fun. So it's a fun game. It's fun to play, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing, which apparently a lot of people like. Um, but. I also have things like Final Fantasy 2, which actually I think people aren't watching Final Fantasy 2 mostly because they haven't played it, and also it's not as nearly as fun. <laughs> but anyway, it's there, is what I'm saying. It's another variety, it's more variety. Basically what I am really saying is just tell me what you like, so that I can use it as constructive criticism. S say what I'm doing that is good, say what I'm doing that is is bad. Say what I'm not doing and you would like to see, and say what I'm not doing which would be terrible. So, in other words, it's good that I'm not doing. I, just give me more input in general, is what I'm saying. At least so far as, um... At least in so far as the things go, you know the things. Um... The... what's it? Um... Why can I not think right now? Oh yeah, I forgot that these pop the flyers, man. Man. Need pumpkin there. I didn't even need to worry about the balloons. Good to know. I always forget that about them. I always do. But, whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, but it ma does matters in a good way. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, what else is there to say? Something, something, something. Freeze ray. Sounds right. Um, no, not the freeze rays. The other things. You know the ones. Uh, what is next on my thing? Uh, I'm gonna save the hinting for when this is looking like I have a closer chance to lose, so I guess I can talk more about Plants vs. Zombies. In case... I don't want to spoil what I'm doing here, in case you haven't figured it out. But, I mean, it'll become pretty obvious pretty soon, I think. Um, basically, I'm going to kill all the zombies. Well, no kidding, right? Um, I'm going to do it in a very particular way, though. Is what I mean to say. Which will become clear... Probably next round? Probably. Probably. Well, we'll see. I guess. I guess so. Um, I should not talk in circles though, because that's kind of just annoying. I don't know if it annoys you actually, but it annoys the hell out of me. So, let's not do that. Let's just not. Okay. So, the crux of the strategy is twofold. I have the cattails in the middle, which just shoot the bejesus out of everything. And... I have the cob cannon. Which I'm going to start placing. <laughs> because this is just completely OP. This is not actually the strategy I like to use on the front yard? Yeah, on the front yard maps. Well, obviously I can't because there's no cattails. But what I'm saying is, when there's no pool, there's a different strategy that I prefer to use. Um, 
But on the pool, it requires too, too much maintenance. I might explain that a little bit lit as I go on in here. I don't really need that anymore. Um, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. And I should have another instant kill thing. Actually, I don't need that. Um, what am I forgetting? Am I forgetting something? Maybe. Maybe. How does the plus on this work? Is it just for everyone I ha currently have, or is it for everyone I've placed? Because if it's everyone I have, then that's no big deal, but if it's everyone I've placed, then that's a huge problem. Um, let's see. Snarkle zombies are annoying. But not a big problem. Hmm. What should my last one be? What should it be? Well, I haven't done three Peters. That's another thing I really like to do on this map. Because you can put three Peters along here and along here. Then Cattails in the middle. And it just destroys everything. But if I did that, I wouldn't have as much room for Cobb Cannons. Which is why I'm not doing it. Um, so, what do I want? Um, how about... How about... How about... Well, I could just do this, but that's dangerous. Because normally if I use the imitator, I would want to imitate my pumpkin. But you cannot put pumpkins on imitated pumpkins and vice versa. So, yeah, dangerous. Um, let's just grab another instant death thing, I guess. It, well, yeah, that's usually the safe thing to do. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, then. Let's go with you. And... Bam. I now have all the room I need to place my first Cobb Cannon. I don't have the money yet, though. <laughs> We're working on it. We are working on it. Working on it enough that I don't want to be buying the upgrading these yet, because I want to upgrade my freaking Cobb Cannons. Is what? Um... I'm gonna upgrade two of my Cobb Cannons, even. Also, also, I feel this goes without saying, but obviously this is a really bad idea to try this in a night stage. Because there's no way you have enough sun for it, to be blunt. The other one is a... The other one with the three Peters at, is probably a better idea. Although even then, you might run into sun trouble. Cobb Cannon! It's just the best ever. Which I will demonstrate when we hit a wave, because I don't really need it right now, to be honest. Dig that up, put that there. Oh, and suddenly we have something that is worth blowing up. Boom! Ha ha ha! Cobb cannons are OP, especially when you can build like six of them on one level. Because, you know, nothing says OP like six, like times six power. And I can start doing that now, because I have my first cop pen. I want to build one other one here. I don't need the other four right away. Just the two is basically enough to last you for quite a while when you have good defenses set up. And I have pretty good defenses set up. Uh, of course, the problem with the cob cannon is I can't put pumpkins on it. So it is a little bit defenseless if something can actually reach to it. So I need, you need to be careful with that. A little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, also, speaking of pumpkins, there's a reason I'm putting pumpkins on my back row stuff. Because I don't want to have to replace my sunflowers, and they can be attacked. By certain- th by a few different zombies. And they're all really nasty, but... Yeah. It's something you need to watch out for. And... BOOM! 
pre little premature, but you know what? It worked. Just as it always does. But yeah, I don't not using some of the some I'm basically not using any defenses on my back for things on my back row. So I need to compensate for that by just having uh well, pumpkins back there. It's the sacrifice I need to make to have more firepower. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. But it works out pretty well, usually. I mean, although having said that, I don't know how far I'll actually be able to carry with this. I don't play... Well, as you can see in my file, I didn't have anything in Endless. That should sort of tell you... I didn't have any previous Endless attempts, so that should sort of tell you something. And more cobs are always nice. And as are pumpkins. Put a pumpkin there. I'm going to just put pumpkins on everything that isn't a cob cannon or up past this line. Just so you know. It works out. It'll work out pretty well, I think. I think. I might put something in these pumpkins, actually. I haven't really decided yet. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I aimed that cob bad. Oh well. Oh well. It still worked out. It still did. And pumpkin. Oh, I should have put that there, I guess. Oh well. Uh, actually, no. I do need pumpkins on my second row of um, thingies. Thingies. Right, the thingies! Second row of cattails, because there are zombies that can jump the first row, and I need to refresh that pumpkin. I need to do it. But I'm not. Um, let's do that. And that. And that'll probably fast forward me to the next wave quite quickly. Actually. Uh, I'm actually doing pretty well so far. I mean, I didn't expect to lose so early, but even so. I mean, I've tried this layout once before, I think, but I didn't, in previous experience, cattails can, cattails, oops, damn it, are really powerful, but they can be a little bit unreliable as well, is the thing. So, yeah, I wasn't really sure how it would pan out. Pretty well, though, it seems. Let's see. I need you. I need you and you still, just in case. These are emergency things, because they are much more easy to accidentally lose than the stuff in the lanes. Yeah, you see, Dolphin Zombie. He, that thing will totally jump stuff. Now then, I want you and you and... Did I finish with you? I did. I don't need you right now, then. Um... Hmm. I basically just want all the instant death stuff at this point. So the question is what I want to put into these now. Because I have the space. So what should it be? What should it be? Hmm. How about... Oh, by the way, actually, I should say this now, so you, you, if you're watching this just for the announcements, that you don't end up wasting too much time, I guess. Although, I would like to think it's not wa a waste of time, but anyway. Aside from teasing what my next LP is going to be, I have finished saying all the important things about my channel. So... Yeah. Oh, actually, but I will throw out one of my hints now, though. It is on a portable system. <laughs> Hint one of three. Now then, what the hell do I want to do with those extra mushrooms? 
or mushroom, extra spots. Because I don't need them for instant death stuff. Hmm. This is a tough one. I don't need the golden. I could just put like a Gadling P in each of my lanes. <laughs> but that's too expensive to do right now. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wait, how is it? Yeah, that is not really ideal, is it? Oh well. Oh well. Um. Let's see, I could just do, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about filling them up now. I'm just gonna do cheesy stuff like this. Cause why not? Actually, because I can put potato mine instead. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Normally I would just put chomper in those, but the chomper would be, frankly, pretty unuseful. Um. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna put watermelons. Cause why not? Cause you know that's much cheaper than the Gatling pea. Well actually, unless I'm using torch wood, this is probably better, so... Um... Do fireball peas deal splash damage actually? I don't know. Food for thought. Anyway. Anyway. On with the show. Not planting that this thing right away because I want my next um actually you know what screw that I am gonna plant it right now actually no I'm not now I'm gonna plant it here <laughs> watermelons deal splash damage making them really effective on these lanes in this map now then, now then, now then, I, oh, I actually need one more cattail to finish up my cattail collection. One more, but also one more pumpkin, which I just, re which actually I've noticed this for a bit, but it, these things all recharge way faster on endless, don't they? That's what it looks like. Do that, diamond. More money, more money. And as everyone knows, we're in this for the money. <laughs> Apparently. Let's do that, because that's annoying. You know what, actually, I should probably put a, um... A, what's it called? Um, magnet shrooms on these forward pumpkins. Normally I would do that anyway, but it would really help clear this stuff up quicker. frankly, which would be good, you know? Usually it is. Oh hey, I killed it quicker! Awesome. Pretty much. And I just did a fail launch. Oh well. It's honestly not a big deal. My defenses are pretty impenetrable. Um... In fact, this has already been going on for half an hour, wow. I'm probably not going to be able to do this until I lose, because frankly, it's taking longer than I thought it would. Um, which is good for me, but not so great for viewing, unfortunately. But what you, what you gonna do? Pretty much. So, I what I think I will do is I'll just keep going until the end of this round. And unless the next round has super zombies or something really, really impressive and dangerous, um, I'll just stop there. Yeah, you see, they jump. Told you. They jump, but it doesn't help them because I have all the pumpkins. All of them. More pumpkins. Oh, or, no, that's not a pumpkin, that's a melon. I mean, it's still a gourd, but it's a different, completely different gourd. Pay, atten 
Try to keep up, dude. Try to keep up. Um, sure, why not? That's kind of cheesy, but whatever, it's cheap. Also, I need to do that. And these guys are why I want the magnets, because they sort of just take forever to kill sometimes. And it's really annoying. Frankly. <laughs> because pumpkins don't last forever, you know? But I can do that right now, so that'll help a whole bunch. Like a whole, 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 whole bunch. And I've almost completely pumpkined out. That's that's also good. Aha! More cheesy stuff. Bam. Although, honestly, a, any strategy revolving around the cob cannon is inherently pretty cheesy, if I'm being honest. It's just sort of the way it works. Like, there's a reason it's so expensive. There is a reason. And nuke, and nuke. Bam! Bam! And... Pumpkin. Haha! -ha! Okay, I still need the cob cannon. I need you, you... Oh yeah, there's nothing else. Or, well, this thing actually could be a big problem. Um, but it's not really what I had in mind when I said... Anyway, I'm gonna stop here. So, until next time, and then when I stop, I'm gonna just keep playing. <laughs> until ne but half an hour. So, until next time, here at here is another two hints for my next LP. Because I did say I would give you them. Hint number two, it's an RPG. Hint number three, as I pick items here. It is none other than, well, actually, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will tell you this. Hint number three is, its name is related to a core mechanic of Plants vs. Zombies. So I actually had a reason for picking Plants vs. Zombies besides just wanting to do Endless. Um, so yeah, until next time, this has been Let's Play... Plants vs. Zombies, the one-shot series with Chaos Blue! And have a nice day.